Hey, y'all. All right, so the saga continues. This is Lisa Jo, your essential oil girl. I'm using uh, my absolute must-have oil today. Sign up for my um, free download, and I will share these little tips with you, by the way. All right, moving on. So, we are sharing the saga of Lisa moving to Denver. We are in the middle of the house hunt. On my last video, if you're following me in my um, life adventure, yesterday, as I mentioned, we were going to put a contract on a, a condo that we found here in Lone Tree, Denver. And I wanted to share my experience. And the reason I want to share my experience is because... Even when you think everything's perfect, sometimes life happens. So we're having one of those one of those things. So what happened was what happened was um, we looked we we fig I figured out what I wanted to put a uh, make an offer on Monday night, probably I don't know six o'clock at night. Uh, the boyfriend wants to sleep on it and then meet up with the agent Monday, what's today? No, Tuesday, Tuesday, and um, go ahead and put a contract on it, make an offer, right? Okay, that's all fine and Danny. So, sleep on it, right? Okay, yes, we definitely want to put a contract on. We reach out to the agent and she says, um, okay, great, I can meet up with you at one o'clock. Apparently, and this is, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of having, this is how this video is going to go. Because I, I, yesterday, I did not do this video for a very specific reason. Because I would have, I would have been really super ugly. Because that's how I was feeling. Um, anywho, back in the day, whenever I was a real estate agent, right? And, and you had a, you had somebody that was going to put a contract on the house. You dropped everything to make that happen, right? Yeah. The only thing, I mean, I would, I had little kids at the time. I would take my kids all the way over to my mom's house, which was in the, you know, 30 minutes away and come back and, you know, to make sure that I, the minute that contract was ready to be written, I was there ready to get that taken care of immediately. Um, so that was my first thing that I was like, really? So, oh, we'll meet up at one o'clock. Well, apparently she had a continuing education class scheduled. So that must have been priority for her. Again, times change, times change. Um, so we met up with her at one o'clock. We, as both of us were real estate agents in the past, expected to have a contract written up. All the, all the boxes checked and we just put Put in the price we wanted to offer, basically. Uh, put in any, you know, contingencies or whatever else we needed and sign the contract and send it out and, you know, right? No, no. We, she had, she had the contract out and she had some stuff written down and she kind of read through it and John's, John's very strategic and analytical. So there was a lot of questions asked, even though he's done a million contracts in his life. But I understand that. That's fine. That's fine. So we left there about three o'clock. We left there about three o'clock with nothing. She's going to go to lunch because she hadn't had time for lunch because she was at her class, which, you know, she's a, she's a person. I get that. It's I get that. That's okay. And we decided to go up to the mountains. There's a really cool ice sculpture thing that we wanted to go see. And this is our first visit to the mountains and blah, blah, blah. So we were planning on, we were planning on having that contract signed, sealed, and ready to deliver when we left that office. We did not. And what happened, and John says, well, she said, I'll get it to you this evening. Well, this evening was last night, right? And John wants to read over it before he signs it. So he's like, I'll, I'll have to get it back to you in the morning. So we're adding another day. Fine, fine. Well, guess who calls while riding up to the mountains? Oh, looks like somebody else is going to be putting in an offer. Uh, do y'all want to put in this whatever thing? I don't even know the name of it. I don't care. Basically, you want to put in a thing saying, oh, if they make if they make a bigger offer, do you want to make it? Uh, you know, I was like, oh, M-G, I cannot believe this is happening. So, 
even though whenever you go to buy a new house, everything should go perfectly and, you know, no worries and you decide what you want after you've been looking and looking and looking and find the one you want. And, and I know a couple years ago that this was not the case. People were bidding on houses and they were selling them before they, you know, left. The, so I know, I know this was a possibility. That's why I w I'm a little upset that it got delayed an entire day before the offer actually went in. Okay. So, with that said, she sent in the offer this morning. I have no idea if the other agent, whoever that mysterious agent is, actually got an offer put in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And once I processed it, you know, like I said, we are, we are, we are firm believers that, that, that God is in control and that it, and it may sound cheesy, but if this is where we really are meant to be, it's okay. It will happen. And if it's not, that's okay. We'll figure it out and, you know, keep looking down the road. But yesterday, I didn't feel like that. Yesterday, I was pretty snarky. I was, I could be really snarky. So, but I calmed down. I used my magic potion. John was equally, um, you know, here however whenever i'm here he's really good about keeping it down here so that he can keep me calm so we don't you know design you know do this number so what i would do is i would roll this on me and of course because it's essential oil and it's a real plant based essential oil it does magic in the air so i didn't even have to put this on him by the way i'm just just saying so today is wednesday it is almost three o'clock. I don't know if they're going to accept the contract. I don't know if there was a counter offer contract. I don't know anything about it. I do know that I will keep you posted. And um, if you're watching this, thank you for enjoying my journey with me. And hopefully whenever you put a contract on the house, you don't feel like this because I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. But I just wanted to pop in and let y'all know that even though everything looks so simple and perfect and because I know I'm making this all look like, oh, this is no brainer to move across country. That's no big deal. It's kind of a big deal. So we're headed back back to uh, Florida today. So house hunting is over. House hunting is over. This will either get accepted or it won't. And if it doesn't, then John will come back. He will find us an apartment and we will rent um, indefinitely until you know, we can figure out what we're going to do. So just want to keep you posted. I will pop in on the video and let you know if we get the video, if we get the video, <sighs> if we get the house or not. And if we do, I will, um, I doubt if I'll have time to go over there if I do. I, I really am not holding my breath at this point. I feel like there's been a couple couple blocks stacked against this whole process at this point because I feel like, well, I think, I feel like I've kind of got the rug like kind of shifted out from under me whenever I wasn't expecting it because it didn't have to happen that way. And so I'm not really holding out much expectations on getting it. So if I do, I would be pleasantly surprised. If I don't, then pff, moving on. All right. I just want to keep y'all posted. I don't know how many times I said that. That's where I'm at. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.